Hi everyone, today's story is called Patrick and it's written and illustrated by Quentin Blake. We've had one of his stories before. So this is a story about a young man called Patrick who set out from his house one day to buy a violin. In the town, the street was full of stores. One sold vegetables, one sold fish, and another sold clothes. These stores were very interesting, but Patrick did not stop until he came to the one kept by Mr. Onions. On his stall, he had a broken jug, an old lamp, a mouse trap, and all sorts of things that people did not want anymore. Have you a violin? asked Patrick. Oh, you're in luck, said Mr. Onions. I have just one. Patrick bought the violin with his only piece of silver. He was so pleased that he ran as fast as he could into the fields. When he got there, he blew the dust off his violin. <gasps> then he sat down by a pond and began to play a tune. As he played, the most extraordinary thing happened. One by one, the fish in the pond began to jump out and fly in the air. And what is more, they were all different colours and they were all singing to the music. Just then a girl and a boy came along the road. Their names were Kath and Mick. Did you do that? asked Mick, pointing to the fish in the air. And Patrick said, yes, I did. Then he played another tune and the string tying Kath's hair turned into red ribbons and the laces in Mick's boots turned into blue ribbons. thinking that's a pretty special violin. And so the three went down the road together. Soon they came to an orchard of apple trees. Patrick played his violin and the leaves on the trees changed to all kinds of bright colours. Instead of apples, the trees began to grow pears, Bananas, cakes, ice creams, slices of hot buttered toast. Kath and Mick ran about among the trees and helped themselves to whatever they liked. As they were eating, a flock of pigeons flew down and Patrick played his violin again. The birds began to sprout bright new feathers until they were the most beautiful birds you had ever seen. Kath and Mick fed them on crumbs of chocolate cake. Look at those beautiful birds. After Patrick and the children had gone a little farther, they met some cows. They were white with black spots. But when Patrick played his violin, the cows became covered with coloured stars and started to dance to the music. So they all went along the road until they met a tramp. The tramp had whiskers and a hat with a broken top where his hair poked through. He was smoking a pipe and every time he gave, a puff of sparks flew out over it. That's a lovely tune you're playing, said the tramp. There's nothing I like better than a tune on a violin. So Patrick played even harder. And the sparks from the pipe of the whiskery tramp got bigger and bigger until they were showers of fireworks. On they all went along the road. It was just like a procession. Kath and Mick with their ribbons, the fish and the birds singing, the cows dancing, the whiskery tramp puffing fireworks from his pipe and Patrick playing the violin.
Before long, they met a tinker and his wife with a horse and cart. Look at our procession, shouted Kath. Isn't it fun? How can he enjoy it? asked the tinker's wife. He's very thin and I don't know what to do for him. He's got a cough and a cold and a stomachache and a headache. We have to travel so slowly. I don't know how we shall get to town before dark. That man does not look very well. Let me play my violin and see what happens, said Patrick. So he played a tune and you can see what happened. The tinker started to get fatter. He lost his cough and his cold, his stomachache, his headache, until he was well and smiling and happy again. What a transformation. And not only that, look what happened to his horse and cart. The tinker and his wife climbed on and so did Patrick and Kath and Mick and the whiskery tramp. The fish and the birds flew above them and the cows galloped behind. And they all got back to town before it got dark. So, imagine you had Patrick's violin and you played a magical song and the magic came out of the violin. What would change around you? Would it be trees, bushes, your garden, your toys? Have a go at drawing and explaining underneath what changed and how it changed. OK, right. Have a lovely day. It looks like the weather's going to be great again today and I'll see you tomorrow for another story. Bye, everyone.